you know what I'm saying, guys? I'm not saying that. But you can still work out. You can still perform just like everyone else. The, the big question is your mindset is, do you want to work out? Do you have goals? People always get a little hissy fit because they don't see, and this is why I'm making these videos, because they don't see the big picture. You as a diabetic have to see the big, you gotta see everything, right? What's important that everyone talks about is your A1Cs, your averages, your blood sugars. So over a 24 hour period, if your blood sugar is like at 18, it ends up to be 18 or whatever, for two hours. We'll just, we'll just pick two hours. And then you administer insulin to get it back down. Again, I'll talk about maybe some strategies, the way of thinking about how to uh, combat high blood sugars. Um, if you're high for, you know, a couple hours, but you're safe, you slammed a good workout, you feel good, do you think that's really going to affect you, your overall average over four months, your A1C? No, it's not. It's not. Literally, it's not. How do I know this? Every single day. I'm not 18. Right? Don't get me wrong. I'm not 18, right? But, right? I wake up in the morning. I'm 10, I'm 10 11, 12. That's normal. It's, it's by strategy, though. Because I want to be high when I'm sleep, when I'm sleeping. I want it to rise when I'm sleeping. That makes sense to me. So, average everything. But what's the benefit? Again, this is why I'm making these videos. What's the benefit of working out? Your body is fueled up. It's going on hyperdrive. So, say if your blood sugar is at 18. With LA workout, how much insulin would you have to administer? To get that blood sugar down. Do you know what I'm saying? You slam a good workout, your heart, you get your heart going like crazy. You do a crap load of burpees, you kick, you do heavy bag work or whatnot, or you do anything. You will your insulin dosage will be far, far less. Because why? You woken up your body. Alright? It got moving. And it's gonna be burning what for the rest of the day. Having said that. You gotta know how your body reacts, guys. A workout is not done as soon as you finish. Especially in the morning. Well, anytime. You gotta know that once that train is going, once you got your heart rate up, once you got a good sweat going on, it's still moving. <laughs> right? They call it what? Whatever that what whatever that word is, the afterburn effect. I don't know what it's called, right? But it lag, legit, your metabolism is revved up. You gotta understand that guys. You gotta log everything. What 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 is an hour after? Half an hour after. Especially if you're new. If you've been doing it for a while, you kinda get the system. But if you're new and you haven't worked out and and you don't know the effects of a workout at whatever time. Doesn't matter what time you work out. You gotta log everything, guys. You gotta you gotta be able to have data of this workout at this time, half hour later I'm this. An hour later my blood sugar is this. You know what I'm saying? Three hours later after my meal, my blood sugar is this. And you have to repeat it. You know what I'm saying, guys? Working out, guys, there's a misconception. Both on the DKA, that you can't, you shouldn't. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. That you can't, you shouldn't work out because there's too much stress on your body, too much, you're going to develop, your blood sugar is going to go up, and it's going to cause stress in your organs. That's a misconception. I'm going to put it out there. Again, I'm going to get so much hate, <laughs> so much hate from this. that you can't work out because you're a type one diabetic and have a problem with that. And the information on how your body continues to function afterwards and what types of workouts you should do. 
It's obviously individual. I get that. What I'm going to say is, let's approach it the way I said it before. Make a decision. Mindset. If you want to do something, if you want to improve your, your life, you want to trim down, you want to get some, all right? I'm just, I'm just saying, all right? If you, want to, if you want to do it, all right? Make the decision that you're going to do it. Mindset. In this case, we're talking about working out. I should work out. My doctor's been telling me my, my blood pressure is creeping up, and I got I got to find something. I got I got to do something to change my life. Cool. Congratulations, you 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 already started. The second thing is, guys, start with a routine. Second video. Right. You gotta have a routine. You gotta. This is my time. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna do this, this, and this. But. You have to also, guys, approach it gently, slowly. And what's gently, slowly? Right? Like I said, you've never done a push-up in your life? Right? You're going to be hurting. <laughs> you're going to be hurting. If you try to slam all 200 push-ups, you're going to be a hurting person. And that's going to shock your body. You know what I'm saying? Approach it in a slow way. Do five push-ups. Take a break. Do five more push-ups. Take a break. Cool. I'm done. <laughs> That's it. That's my workout. That's cool. Right? Because then we are, we're setting up that path. And then when you start to do more workouts and you start to add, slowly, your body gets what? Like acclimated. It gets more fitter. More fit. <laughs> fitter. Fit. Right? And as you do that, you're logging. You're, 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 you're generating data. You know what I'm saying, guys? We all know working out is good for you. Why don't we all do it? Because it sucks. It sucks, right? I don't care who you are, unless you're just one of those those people that loves working out, right? There's something wrong with you. I'm sorry, there is, right? There's something wrong with you, right? Um, why are why are, why don't people do it, or why is there overweight people? Because it sucks, man. But as a type 1 diabetic, guys, there's so many pros. Those pros are less insulin. Your body is revved up like crazy. That's huge. But if you don't log, if you don't have a routine, right? If you don't have a routine where you're going to implement working out, that's very dangerous. That's extremely dangerous. Because it goes back to my routine video. You got to be predictable. Any change in your routine, like I would, when I say any change in my routine, I got to be careful. I got to be careful, guys. If I work out, say I always work out 8-ish, 8-ish, right? Like 8.15 by the time I get to the school, I'm good to go. If I work out at 1 o'clock in, in the afternoon, I got to be careful. Why? Because I just smashed a meal at 10 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So I have that insulin in me. Now, I, I said, insulin, humalog, lasts in my body, well, whatever, two and a half, three hours. But the more efficient you are with your, with your body, the longer that insulin lasts. No one talks about this stuff. But anyways, if I work out at, you know, at one o'clock or, or maybe, maybe 11.30, and I do the exact same dosage, I eat my same meal and whatnot, I'm gonna have a problem. Why? Because that insulin from my meal is still burning in my body. Do, do you know what I'm saying, guys? You can still work out, you can work out anytime you want, but pick a time and stay consistent with it. Do you know what I'm saying? But no one talks about this. Guys, it's about dumbing down diabetes. It is. It's about making sense of the all these factors, eliminating variables, eliminating them, and figuring out a system that works for you. Post a comment, guys, if if you know you're a su successful type one diabetic. That works out, you know, every day or whatnot. Share your experience of what you've done. I want this, this, this channel, this video, every video, to be inspirational.
for the diabetics that don't have the right information or are too scared um, to do anything. I want you guys to post comments where, yeah, you know, you can work out. Or, yeah, these are some of the struggles that I've encountered while working out. Post comments. I'll, I'll respond to them. Guys, this is part number four, right? This is, a, this is part number four on this series of managing diabetes the easy way, understanding diabetes the easy way. This is a platform, guys, for, for me to share kind of my personal experience with all you guys. Um, if you know a diabetic, you know a struggling diabetic, a family member, a loved one, share it with, the, with them, guys. Post, comment, and subscribe. I'm not going to be one of those guys that's going to be, you know, uploading like 500 videos. Right? <laughs> I have no desire, no, no time for that stuff. It's going to be like five or six videos. Unless you want me to keep posting videos. I don't know, right? Um, but I want to make sure the information is accurate um, in a simplistic way. Post comments, subscribe, um, and that's it. Part number one, guys, we talked about mindset, how important a good mindset is. All right. Part number two, again, all these links, all these will be linked in the description below. Part number two is always establishing a routine and living by a routine, being a clock. Part number three is on diet, what you can, what you cannot eat, and its impact. All right, as a diabetic. Again, part number four, what we talked about, guys, is can you work out as a diabetic? In the long story short, yeah, you can. <laughs> You should, right? You should work out often, right? But it's a balance. You got to know how your body reacts. You got to know if you inject a certain amount of insulin, how it's going to react. You have to get those variables out. Stay consistent. Build a database of knowledge from experience. So you can have an educated decision making, right? If you are all over the place with all your variables, your, your workouts, you work out in the morning sometimes, and then you work out in the evening sometimes, and then whatever, or you, you miss a workout, well then, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not building that consist consistency. You're not building that, that accurate data. I highly recommend that you, you, you guys get active. You'll work out. You don't have to work out like crazy. Right? Go for go for a five minute walk. If you've never moved, but I made a decision where I'm gonna work out. Go for a five minute walk. That's it. That's good. You're good. High five. <laughs> right? But do that every single day. Do it every day. Right? Make sure you log. Stay tuned for part number five, guys. Part number five is on logging, the importance of logging. Okay? You guys stay safe, you guys be healthy, and we'll all get through this together. All right, peace.